Have you ever tried planning a trip using the power of AI? I did, and let me tell you, seems solid. I'll show you how to use it and what to look for. Just give me a second. Okay. I already tried that last year and I wasn't convinced. But tech is constantly improving and I must say I want to do this trip just like AI has suggested it. ChatGPT recently released its new model, 4.0, and the best part, it's free. You can treat it like a Google search and it will browse the internet and summarize or phrase and answer confidently. But here is where you might end up with false or slightly off results. You see, ChatGPT is like an intern at this point. It will go out and look for what you asked, but you have to validate it yourself and don't trust it blindly. What it's good for is ideation and brainstorming. Ask specific questions with detailed constraints and you get ideas quickly that might spark new directions. For example, I want to do a motorcycle trip from Hamburg to Venice and back again. Spend some days in North Italy and visit a new town every day. Avoid highways and only ride for a maximum of six hours a day. Give me ideas for lunch breaks. Keep in mind, I'll start my day at around 10 a.m. and I want to eat at 12 or 1 p.m. On my way to Venice, I want to ride through Austria and curvy Alp roads. My way back to Hamburg should go through the Swiss Alps. Motorcycle trip itinerary. Hamburg to Venice and back. Day one, Hamburg to Leipzig. Take scenic routes through Lower Saxony and Saxony-Anhalt. Lunch Bredlinburg, 1 p.m. Enjoy lunch in this picturesque medieval town. This is a great starting point and gives me good ideas for stops and stays. Obviously, I will need to validate if the routes are actually what I'm looking for and take approximately that amount. But I don't have to start from scratch and can take this and look for Airbnbs around that area. What's also good to ask for are lists. A packing list can help me and make sure I won't forget anything. Like, what should I bring for this trip? Essential items for your motorcycle trip. Riding gear. One helmet, ensure it's DOT or ECE certified. Two, riding jacket, preferably with armor protection. You see, ChatGPT is a large language model, short LLM, meaning it keeps a memory of what we have talked about. At this point, it knows I'm planning a motorcycle trip and has already given me information. So if I continue in the same chat, it will know that. Some things will be obvious to me, but others will be cool reminders. I didn't think about bringing swimwear, but Damn it, I'm going to Italy during the summer. Thanks, GPT. You're welcome, Rafa. Since I'll have lunch at restaurants on my way, I want to cook as many dinners as possible. Some easy recipe ideas would be helpful. Let's ask. Give me easy to cook recipe ideas for my trip. Ideally, healthy meals with not too many ingredients. Here are some easy to cook, healthy recipes with minimal ingredients that are perfect for your motorcycle trip. Breakfast ideas. One, oatmeal with fruits and nuts. Ingredients, quick oats. I might try some of them and surely you can narrow down what kind of food you like and get more suitable suggestions. To summarize, AI is not perfect, but it is a great starting point and can provide some interesting ideas even look at yours and fill in the gaps. It has the internet at its disposal and therefore is much faster at it than you. Your job is to look at it and validate it. Make sure your intern is not just browsing Reddit or The Onion and gives you joke answers. Take what AI gives you with a grain of salt and save time searching on your own. I'll let you know how the trip was and if what ChatGPT gave me was actually true. Speaking of letting you know, 
In my last video, I told you that my bike had some problems and that I had to bring it to a mechanic. End of last year, I had some issues with getting into gear. I would try to shift down and it wouldn't let me do it. During winter storage, they exchanged a part that was worn out and made a mistake reassembling it back together. A plate was put in the wrong way. So, after a couple of months riding it like that, it led to the gearbox breaking. This being not my fault, the guys kindly ordered new parts and repaired it without charge. However, the order took a while and I was without my bike for over a month. But now it's back and I'm ready to go to Italy tomorrow. And let me tell you, it is so much better to be able to accelerate again and ride normal. Take a look at this. So this is my plan. I have it all figured out. I'm going from Hamburg all the way down to Italy and I have a packing list that ChatGPT wrote me and I'm gonna, pet, put, I'm gonna put everything in here. I have a script or I have an outline for a script and then I'm gonna do exactly this route as you can see with, with my red string. I'm going here, Switzerland, uh, Austria, Italy. I'm gonna, gonna go around, super warm, it's gonna be amazing. And then I'm going to Switzerland. 